Hello friends, today I'm gonna show you how you can make a bootable Mac OS for legacy BIOS systems. For this you need Clover disk image. Don't worry you will find the download link in the description below. You need partition image mapper and one more thing you need this boot disk utility you don't you don't actually need this you actually need the hfs hierarchical file system part uh, file that you have to place in the partition image i will show you everything in detail so first of all i will show you how you have to download these hfs files for this you have to open the boot disk utility fine here is the boot disk utility fine from here you have to click on the download center then you have to click on the update i have already downloaded the catalog which you can see for the uh, image that you need i have downloaded this yosemite one fine i can show you just click on yosemite then click on DL that is for downloading the selected item when you will do that it will start downloading that image fine first of all it is showing you how to download because I have already downloaded so I am stopping this download and cancelling this download because it has downloaded and it will extract the HFS file by itself you don't have to do anything if you want to see in detail you can watch my another video in which i have shown how to do how to make a bootable usb using the boot disk utility so i'm cancelling the download because i have already downloaded the file then after this you need this you need this partition image mapper fine so what you have to do you have to copy this clover image to the usb pen drive you have to copy it fine and one more thing you have to copy is the hfs file let's rename it because it's the yosemite one to make it more clear i will save it by the name yosemite and then i will copy this image and paste it in my pen drive or the usb pen drive that you're gonna use to boot hackintosh basically friend this is a recovery hd image it will only download or have the files that are absolutely necessary for downloading the full image of yosemite you can boot your hackintosh pc or laptop with this image you can see it's hardly more than 1 gb see it's around 1.2 GB. The actual file that you will download is around a 4, 400 or 500 MB. But when you extract it using the boot disk utility extractor, which I have shown you before, the actual size of the file would be around 1.2 GB that is showing over here. Fine. Then you have to play use some boot arguments for making the download
these are the bootloader arguments dash v dash x dash s that you have to use dash n or dash z t cpu is equivalent to one or dash f also if you have you have to disable your virtualization for that you have to use dot equal to zero i prefer that you should use dot equal to zero if you are using a legacy bias always add this in the boot arguments Then you have nvda underscore drv equal to one, nv underscore disable equal to one, kex dash dev dash mode equal to one, rootless equal to zero, npca equal to zero into two thousand, npca equal to zero into three thousand. So these are the sequences in which a combination of boot arguments have been used. You can read each and every one of these. I will provide the download link for these Hackintosh boot flags also. So. Let's see. Here is the USB pen drive, in which both the images, that is the Clover as well as the Yosemite .f .hfs file, have been downloaded. Now we will open. The partition image mapper. First, you have to click on Active Type One. System you have to select is either NTFS or FAT32. I think FAT32 is best. Then you have to click on this. You have to select your pen drive. From pen drive, you have to click on Clover and open. And next, you have to click on this Yosemite.hfs. It will automatically select the type. Then you have to click on Clover because the bootloader that we are using is Clover. Then you have to click on Map. That's it. You have to click on OK. So this is the dot .mbr partition that has been created for booting on legacy bias. That's it, friends. Now you will restart your PC and boot if you face any problem please let me know